Hello, it's Ivy here today and welcome back to my channel. So let's just uh, break the ice for a second. Um, clearly there's something very different about me. I obviously uh, got a haircut. Thank you so much for noticing. <laughs> you probably see my Instagram post if you follow me on Instagram. Like, I posted a little vloggy vlog of it. Um, my dad my hair blonde. So this is me, who is she? That totally rhymed, oh my gosh. I'm very excited about it. I actually really, really like it now. Obviously, if you clicked onto this video, you wanna know what kind of bras I wear underneath all my tops. Not in like a perverty kind of way. I guess this goes for anyone really. This kind of really suits small boob girls because I am a small boob girl. I'm showing you the kind of bras and different things that I wear with different tops. I just wanna like be able to help you guys in any way possible because growing up, I went into puberty and I didn't get past the mosquito bite stage. There are still mosquito bites here right now. And I just remember like my mom never really showed me what bras to wear. She just told me to wear like training bras. And I was like, uh, training bras at like 17? No, thank you. I was just like not about that. And I kind of just had to like figure it out all on my own. It's taken me years to get to this point. I think I was about like 23 when I discovered like proper bras to wear with my figure and my size and what actually looks good on me, what doesn't work for me. So I want to be able to help you guys out. I got sent a couple of little bralettes from this brand called, I think it's called Perfection. They're a company that is really, really catered towards like small boob girls, which is really, really amazing because I know for me growing up, like it was either like you wear training bras till like you're 18 or even like after that because mosquito bites don't grow or you wear bras that are just way too big for you and they're really not flattering and fit you at all. I think it's just amazing that they're a company that does this and really caters towards different bra sizes. I will link them down below. I'll show you the bras that I have from them. The first bra that I want to show you guys is this bra. I'm currently wearing it right now, so I'll show it in like the try-on clip. This like pink bra that I got from them. I believe it's kind of like a sports bra. I personally would actually take out the little cuppage pieces in it. I wouldn't mind not wearing that and just like reveal the flat chesties, but like at the same time, I like to wear this bra with like white shirts or white tops and it's just like a little bit more comfortable for me to wear pads because I don't want my nipples showing. I mean, some people might want their nipples showing, like free the nips, but I'm just like not about that life personally. Like I just don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. I personally don't want anyone staring at my chest. So I like to keep the pads in, but otherwise I would actually take them out. I feel like right now, it's like 30% raining outside. I feel like it actually really molds well to my boob. And there's no wire underneath, which is amazing. I would wear this kind of bra with like white shirts because I actually don't have any white bras at all. I like wearing black bras. Like for example, I like to wear it with this turtleneck that's underneath. I just think it looks super like clean with it. It is a little bit pink and you are seeing the pink through it, but it's not very obvious. And I really, really like it with something like this because there's no wires. It feels really seamless. So at the back, you're not seeing any of the clasps or anything like that. Overall, I would wear it with this white top. Another white top that I would wear this kind of bra with is I have this top. It's just like this very thin ribbed kind of knit shirt. It's really, really nice and cozy. I like wearing, again, this top because I don't have any like white bras and I don't want to wear a black bra under this otherwise it's going to draw so much attention to me and my like chest especially i bought this shirt just to wear to work mainly and like you know in the workplace you don't really want that happening to you the final shirt i would wear this bra my dog literally always barks when buses go by i don't know why she's so triggered by buses but she just is the next shirt that i would wear this bra with is this top this is very, very beautiful, as you can see. She's very see-through. I love this shirt so much, but I used to try to avoid wearing this shirt because I would wear like the black bra underneath and then the singlet, and then you would like just see this. It's still very see-through. And again, I bought this to wear to work, so <laughs> not very appropriate to wear to work. Bras, or even just like this kind of bra, sports bra kind of thing, would be really, really good to wear underneath something like this. The next set of bras that I have to show you guys, they're both from Perfection, again. But I got these and I really, really like them. I got this one, I got this black lacy bra. She is so cute. She came with a matching underwear set. I really like this brand because of, um, firstly, like they're actually really quite affordable. Like a lot of their bras are like $20, $30. This set was like, 
60 or 50 dollars with underwear though. I just feel really bad because I like always talk about like what bras I wear in like my videos and stuff like that and like the different brands that I usually buy off, they're things like Calvin Klein, Heidi Klum Intimates, um, David Jones, and those brands are expensive. Bras that I have initially that I bought are like $70 to $80 at an original price for just one bra, like one thing of lace across your boob. They've lasted me years, like they've actually been really, really good, but I just feel bad like recommending really, really expensive things because I know that sometimes that's not always like the price range for everyone. The next bra that I have to show you guys is this. This is literally just material. There is absolutely no support. So if you have bigger boobies, this is not for you. There's no wire, there's no nothing. This is a crisscross bra. I don't actually have a lot of clothes that have crisscross in the back, but I imagine this would be really good for like a racer back kind of tank top. This is really, really nice for the shirts that I'm about to show you guys as well. I have firstly this sweater. As you can see in this, in the next few things I'm gonna show you guys, I have a really big obsession with like this ribbed lining lately, especially for fall, winter. I'm so ready. It's just like this really cute cardigan. And because she's a bit of a deep V, I love wearing these bras with it. You can wear it without these straps or anything showing in it. And I think it's really, really nice. I think it just overall looks really, really nice and complements the shirt really well. If you feel a little bit insecure about not having a bit of a bump, um, I think it just takes some time to feel comfortable in that and it's fine no matter how long it takes for you to get comfortable in it, you'll eventually be able to do it. I promise you. Growth is growth. Not in this area though, apparently. The next outfit item that I want to show you guys is this dress. She is so cute. I really, really love her. Again, it's a bit of a deep V, so that's why I would recommend those kind of bralettes. And it doesn't, like those bralettes don't even need to be for a deep V. They could literally just be for t-shirts or anything like that. But I guess I just want to show you guys like what I would wear in these kind of outfits without having to show your bras. I really, really like it with this kind of material, like the rib kind of material, because it's so seamless. This material is pretty thick, so it's pretty forgiving for the lack of the bump. And at the same time, like it makes your outfits look really, really seamless. You can't see the straps. You can't even see at the back, the backing clips and stuff like that. Next bra that I have to show you guys that is an absolute like part of my wardrobe. I know I said I don't really like wearing like padded bras and stuff like that, but this is kind of like the only padded bra that I've kept since literally grade 12. It's kind of like a makeshift bra and I'm a little bit embarrassed by this. It actually really comes in handy a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Little story time. I bought this in grade 12. I was about 17 my final year of high school and it was my final week of high school actually and I didn't have any appropriate bikinis to wear and I just remember we were gonna go to wet and wild with the rest of my grade and I was like mortified I was like I'm not gonna be one of those girls wearing a t-shirt to wet and wild with my whole grade I didn't have a crush on anyone back then but I was like no boy is gonna be finding out that I got the smallest titties in the world and like I just remember I bought this like it's not even my size it's an 8B it did not fit me even with like the padding and stuff it did not fit me so what I did was to make it like fit me I tried to sew it on the side to make it like more accustomed to my circumference to really fill up my chesties I put these two little like things in here like I took them from my mom's bra and just stuff them in my own I pin them and they've just been there since so that's my story this is my makeshift push-up bra if you will but honestly like I have a strapless bra and then I have a strapless push-up bra this is my strapless push-up bra because sometimes you just need this for certain outfits so I'm gonna show you guys what kind of tops go with this firstly we have this gown. She is another rib top. It's a singlet. It has buttons all the way down the middle. I feel like this is really appropriate because it kind of just gives you that little bit of push. It doesn't even really give me much cleavage, but it just makes me feel a bit more secure. Sometimes when I wear like my strapless bra, I get a little bit like nervous that it's honestly going to fall down because sometimes it just does. So I like wearing that strapless push-up bra for like reasons like this, because with tops like this, you can basically almost kind of see my nipple if you have like just the tiniest like wardrobe malfunction. So I like to wear that to keep it really secure 
secure and make sure that nothing falls down. You know what I mean? I like to wear that strapless bra with these two tops. They're about the same, just in different colors. So I have this guy. She's the little beige number. And this guy, she is the little floral number. I like wearing this like sometimes backwards with a high neck and a scoop back. But then also I love wearing this just fully tied up at the front. I wear the push-up strapless bra with it because again, I like a bit of security. And with it, I can actually really tuck in these bits if needed and it really just works with the bra overall out of all the bras that i have that is kind of the best one to wear with these tops next bra that i have to show you guys is this i just have just your regular plain strapless black bra which every girl needs and i think every girl needs a, like a nude bra too but you know this actually is like not really any coverage at all it's really bendable no wires it just molds to my boobs and it's literally my size. I am so disappointed that Kmart doesn't make these anymore, especially because these were only like $8 and they're really, really great. Like I love it so much. I would have bought like five of these if they were still selling them. And I'd like to wear this basically with like a lot of other different tops that don't require too much support. The tops that are like a little bit independent. I like to wear it with a top like this. Basically, because you're not gonna really see any nibblage. I don't even really need to wear a bra with this, but sometimes if I lift my hands, this top is way too short and I could have a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction and you could see my little nibblaze. So um, I like wearing the bra underneath just in case something happens. Other than that, I feel like this is very low maintenance. And as well as that, we have my favorite little black dress. I like to wear my non-padded strapless bra with this. Uh, she's again very low maintenance. The cow neck is a little bit like it's a little bit worrisome fabric and everything like the dress itself is very forgiving. I've never almost had like a a nip slip in this so this is fine and honestly if your bra peeks out even just a little bit at the back at times or you can see it at the front it's fine because the bra itself is black and the dress itself is black whereas if this was going to be like a different kind of color like this in champagne i would probably recommend wearing like a nude bra or purchasing a nude bra because this is black and my bra is black works out well the final bra that i have to show you guys she needs no introduction to my channel because we talked about her a lot already. The sticky boob. The sticky boob, the chicken fillets, the nunga nunga. I mainly like wearing this with dresses, but I'll show you the different kind of things that I wear this with. Firstly, we have another rib dress. This one is from Glassens. I like wearing this because if I was to wear my black bra with this, you could see it peeking out on the side, which is fine. I generally don't mind that, but sometimes you just like a more cleaner look, literally make it look like you are not even wearing a bra at all, make it really seamless. And like with a back like this, I don't really want like straps showing at the back or anything like that. And it kind of helps as well, especially that this is nude. If this was a white dress, I would probably still wear the chicken fillets with it. The next top that I have is this one. It's a nude vest type thing. It's from Glassons as well. I think it's pretty self-explanatory why I would wear the chicken fillets with this because if I was to wear this top just as it is, which I have, it's backless. If I was to layer this under a piece, like wear a sweater underneath this or wear like a white plain shirt, then I would 100% like wear just a regular bra and then throw this over it. I just love like an open back moment. Open back just seriously has my heart. The chicken fillets are such an investment for me because I own a lot of like backless kind of outfits. Speaking of backless, we have this dress. This is very uh, circa 2015 Coachella vibes, free people, except I got this on Shein. Again, I don't really have to explain it. It's backless. As you can see, it's very, very open here in the middle. When I go out, I don't really like to have it open. I usually put a pin there. I don't think I'm gonna have a pin in the try-on just to kind of show you guys, but like usually I have a pin there, kind of pin it up just a little bit so that, you know, there's no nipple slippage at any point. This is quite thin material. It's really nice to be able to wear the chicken fillets with it so that you don't really see any color underneath that makes any sense. And of course we have another backless moment. You guys have probably seen this dress 
many a time. She's from Billy J Boutique and I don't think they stock it anymore. I bought this to wear at a wedding and I haven't been able to stop wearing it since. It's really, really nice and backless. And again, honestly, if you wanted to, you could actually just wear this with no bra. This cut kind of like that off shoulder cut. So it's very forgiving in the sense that like there is like no way that you would have an accidental nipple slippage because it's quite high up. It's cut is not very cleavagey or plunges down or anything like that. Also guys, Arnie gave me the best compliment the other day. He said in this dress, I look like I could be Tinkerbell. And I was like, sir, I will accept that wholeheartedly with my life. Thank you very much. And the last two dresses that I have for you guys, obviously not wearing a bra is an option if it's an option for you and 100% would recommend rocking the no bra because I've done that many a time. I have firstly this dress. It's also from Billy J Boutique. It's off the shoulder, kind of high cut, not plunging or anything like that. And it's got these like cutouts on the side. I wore this to a wedding as well recently. I was gonna wear a strapless bra with it initially, but then I kind of decided against it because it just was so uncomfortable in this dress. And I really just wanted to enjoy myself the whole night, you know, like dance away without having to worry about my bra or sweating and then it would fall or anything like that. And plus like with these cutouts on the side, you could see the black peeking out underneath it, which is not as clean, I guess. I opted for not wearing a bra. I didn't really care. I did look flat. There is no bump at all, but that was fine. And the last, oh shoot, the last <laughs> dress that we have is, oh gosh, this dress. I remember seeing dresses, like people would wear cuts like this, on like Oktoberfest events. I see people wearing stuff like this and there are people with huge boobs that like their boobs are spilling out of it. And I remember I used to be so jealous. I'd be seething. But then like I saw this at the Sabra Skirt pop-up sale um, about two years ago and I tried it on in their like little makeshift like closet try-on place. A little bit uncomfortable with it at first, but the more I tried it on, the more I wore it, the more I was like, yes, like I don't need big boobs for this. I don't need a bra to go with this. I'll just wear her as she is. This I would wear with no bra. And these kind of milkmaid, October festy kind of shirts or like design tops, 100% rock that with no bra. You can do it. I fully support you. I fully back you. And I fully believe that you have the confidence to do this, my friend. Other than that, those are the bras that I wear with different shirts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video, if you liked it, lets me know to do more videos like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every single Thursday and follow me on Instagram. It's at Ivy underscore Nicole with two E's. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you are and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.